Aliens was directed by James Cameron and was released back in 1986 and is a sequel to the incredibly successful Alien film that was directed by Ridley Scott and was released in 1970. And this time around, the story basically revolves around Ripley who was found by a salvage team after she's been sleeping for over 50 years and they take her in and they head to this planet where there might possibly be thousands of xenomorph eggs lay there from last incidents that occur from the last incidents that occurred with Ripley and her crew with the face hugger attaching to Kane's face apparently there were other of eggs there and they possibly could have ha possibly could have hatched and they head to that planet and Ripley and the team have to battle against that these thousands of xenomorphs that are going that are going to attack them one by one or maybe even possibly all together because there's thousands of them instead of one this time there's no question about this film don't ask anything aliens is one of the greatest action films ever I absolutely love this film. There is everything to love about this film. This is honestly my second favorite action movie of all time. Second to Die Hard. I absolutely love this movie. This is one of my all-time favorites. This is exactly how sequels should be made. The story is fantastic. Sigourney Weaver is probably even a little better in this movie than she was in Alien. She has a lot more things to do in this movie. She had a lot more charisma in this movie. She had, I'd say, a lot more screening time too. And she just had a lot of moments. Sigourney Weaver was perfect as Ripley in this movie. Absolutely stole the entire film. Now let's also talk about Carrie Henn who plays as Newt, the little girl. Great in this movie. Honestly, one of the best child actor performances I have ever seen. This Her performance is really, really great. You can tell that she just tries so hard to be brave and stay along with the crew and stay along with Ripley. Bill Paxton is absolutely great in this movie too as Hudson. Really great. He is so funny and so likable. He is just the perfect actor for an action film. He is really a great actor in this film. Game over, man. Game over. What the f*** are we going to do now? What are we going to do now with those things out there? It is so great. It's so perfect. It is so great. He just delivers so many great things in this film. As his character, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Probably the second best actor in this movie has to be Lance Henriksen, who plays as Bishop. Really great in this movie. And once you find out that he's an android, you can tell that throughout the entire time of the film that this is actually a resourceful character. And spoilers if you haven't seen Alien, by the way. What happens at the end absolutely tears you apart. What happens at the end where the queen xenomorph just picks him up and rips him and milk just flies everywhere? Absolutely rips you apart because he's just such an amazing, resourceful android character. He is just so great in this movie. Lance Hendrickson absolutely nailed it as Bishop. Such a fantastic actor. But Aliens isn't just a great film because it's filled with amazing action sequences. With amazing xenomorphs just jumping around everywhere and attacking the crew. That's not only the reason why this movie is so special. Just like the first Alien film, this film took its time to tell its story with suspense and tension. Although, in a different sort of way. The first Alien, the first alien film was a straight up horror film. This one went into the straight up action route. This film is a straight up action movie. And the buildup of tension in the first Alien movie absolutely works as a horror film. And the buildup and the tension in this film as an action movie absolutely works in Aliens. This film absolutely gets you invested into the story after the events of what happened from the first Alien film. We pick up with Ripley and the rest of her new crew that she's, that she's with. The story is just absolutely mind-boggling, and it's just impossible to step away from. And again, with the Xenomorph creature, the designs for the Xenomorph have definitely improved in this film. They were perfect in the first film, they just stepped the level up ten times better in this film. The designs for the Xenomorph are absolutely breathtaking. There is almost not a single shot with CGI. 
there is hardly any CGI in this film. Technically, all of the xenomorphs are practical effects, and I absolutely love that. I absolutely love that, that they didn't just go with the CGI and special effects usually, because they wouldn't usually work in films technically like those, especially if during like the 80s. They sticked with the practical effects, and they absolutely looked really lifelike and actually insane the practical effects in this movie are on point the xenomorphs look fantastic in this film and i'm sorry right now if you are a huge movie goer i'm going to bash you if you have not seen aliens because what are you doing this is one of the best sequels to ever come out and one of the greatest action films ever and james cameron absolutely knows how to direct films james cameron is an amazing director, one of my personal favorite directors. I don't know if he'd be on my top 10 favorite directors, but he's definitely one of my faves. Um, he knows how to create amazing films, films like Avatar and etc. He's created so many great, great films. And even when the Xenomorph is not on screen, like I said, just like in the first movie, Alien, the pacing in this movie is absolutely on point and it gets you invested into the story. The editing is really great in and not in the act it when there's action sequences and when there's not action sequences the editing is absolutely perfect and they don't just throw the xenomorph at you right away in the beginning of the film like i said this film takes its time to tell a really really breathtakingly mind-blowing story and then the xenomorph and then yes we get the action stuff and just like in the first movie it took a while for the xenomorph to pop out and like for the tension to get build up and then we reviewed the and then they revealed the monster and then threw it at you and suspenseful stuff hit the fan they didn't just have like the creatures throughout the entire runtime of the film and i absolutely love that ridley scott and james cameron both understood that and the things that i love about aliens is that it maintains a perfect feeling of action adventure and suspense throughout technically almost its entire runtime of the film James Cameron absolutely blew this film up with his director, and this is definitely one of Cameron's best works. This is definitely one of his best films, no doubt about it. Aliens is just a film that has everything. This film has everything you need out of a movie. It has amazing characters, a fantastic storyline, great action sequences, fantastic creatures, the xenomorphs. And this film is just a blast, a blast to watch. This film has amazing direction as well by James Cameron. It has tension, suspense, and action thrown into one giant flick for the entire family. You guys, this movie is a masterpiece. Aliens gets an A+. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching this review of Aliens. Look forward to my next review that I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Remember, I said this review is going to be a tribute to a special actor who passed away a couple of years ago. And I want to do this review to for this actor because he is one of my all-time favorite actors. He's been a part of my childhood too, and I loved watching this in particular movie that I'm going to review tomorrow. You guys don't know what it is, but you will find out what the movie is tomorrow. I promise you that. I can promise you that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this review of Aliens. By the way, if you want to see a review of Alien 3, uh, the, the link is in the description. I did an older review of Alien 3, um, and you can look at that. I also did a review for Prometheus and Alien Covenant, so you can look at that. The, those are in the description. You can look at those. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, review of Aliens. You guys are the best. Love every single one of you. Um, look forward to more movie reviews I'll be doing. You guys are the best. And as always, I am MarioFan520, and I will see you next time. Peace out.